Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SCCM remote control tools. So if you want to remote control an end client, um, I'm sorry, an endpoint, you can use uh, SCCM remote control to re, um, remote control the computer. So in your environment, in case you don't, if you don't have any um, some kind of remote tools like BombGuard or RDP enable, you can use SCCM to um, remote into a PC. So to do that, you need to go administration, client settings, and then you go to default settings, go to properties. go to remote tools well first of all I'm going to um, try remote to a PC first let's go to assets and compliance device I'm going to try remote to a test machine here currently it's green it's checked and it is online I'm going to right click and go into start remote tool As you can see here, I, I'm receiving an issue here. A remote control session could not be established with remote computer. Possible costs for this include system is turned off, system is... So we know the system is not turned off, it is on. This system cannot be reached, Windows firewall is not configured. Remote tool features is disabled. So most likely the remote tool features is disabled. Let's go back in here. Remote tools, it is disabled. I'm going to enable it. If you're using Windows Defenders, you might want to enable this also. I'm going to click OK. Here's some of the settings you can um, configure. User can change policy or notification. Microsoft recommended no. Allow remote control control of an unattended computer. Yes, if the computer is nobody on using it, allow remote control. Prompt user for remote control. If a user is using computer, you want to prompt them, make sure they're okay with it. Prompt user to, for permission to transfer file. Does it matter? No or yes? Grand remote control permission to local administrator? Yes. Access level full control. You can do full control, no access, or view only. Full control let you control the PC. Set viewers. Currently is none. You want to just say if you want to add your desktop people to um, remote control the PC, you can add their um, group here. I'm going to add SCCM admin. Okay. Okay. Show session notification icon. So it shows notification that someone is controlling the PC on the right side. Play sound. So it's play, play a sound on a client. You can begin at the end beginning and end session by default manage unsolicited remote assistant say no manage unsolicited remote assistant also no local access level remote assistant no none manage remote desktop setting if you want to Enable to use a remote desktop. You can enable this as well. I'm going to say that for now. Click OK. It's going to take a f maybe a few minutes to um, for the the policies to sync to the clients. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can force the client to receive the new policy. <clears throat> going to control panel. I'm going to Programs Manager, Configuration Manager, Action, 
machine rec rec machine policy retrieval. Click OK. It's still going to take some time. I'm going to let's try it. Yeah. I'm going to pause the video and we'll return once the computer received the policy. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to start remote control. <coughs> so it is connecting, asking remote user to allow remote control. Let's take a look at this PC to see what it says here. Oh, see, as you can see, Carson Cloud is requ requesting permission to begin control. So you can click denied or approve. I'm going to click approve. Let's go back here to the console. As you can see, I'm in remote controlling the PC. I can make any configuration changes here. I can reboot the computer. Shut down. I can install applications. I can do anything we want. Thank you for watching. And if you love the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.